Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So in this video, I'll tell you about the concept of continuity, right? So let's recall what is the concept of continuity in real variables. Now continuity at a point means that the value of the function at that point should exist. Secondly, the limit value of the function at x equal to a should exist. That means the right hand limit and the right hand left hand limit must be equal. And thirdly, the value of the function at that point must be equal to the limit value of the function as x approaches to a, right? So these are the three requirements for a function to be continuous at a point x equal to a. Now, what is continuity of a complex function? It's parallel to the same definition. A complex function f of z is continuous at a point z0 if all the three of the following statements are true. So first of all, limit value of the function f of z as z approaches to z0 it should exist secondly f of z0 should exist and the limit value must be equal to the value of the function at z0 right so what are the three points that are required we require first of all the limit value so the concept of limit we have already done in the previous video so do watch it so the limit of z approaches to z0 f of z must exist the value of the function at the point z equal to z0 should exist. And thirdly, the limit value must be equal to the value of the function at the point z0. Right? Now, let us look at some questions. You have to consider the following function. f of z is z squared plus 4 upon z minus 2 iota, where z is not equal to 2 iota. And it is 3 plus 4 iota when z is equal to 2 iota. So, this is the function defined. Now we need to answer the following questions. What is the value of the function f of z as z approaches to 2 iota? So as z approaches to 2 iota, z squared plus 4 upon z minus 2 iota will become. We can factorize z squared plus 4. So we will get z minus 2 iota upon z, uh, z plus 2 iota divided by z minus 2 iota. So you can see that z minus 2 iota gets cancelled and when we substitute z is equal to 2 iota, we will get the answer as 4 iota. So the next question is, what is the value of the function f of z at z equal to 2 iota? It's already given to us, what is the value of the function at z equal to 2 plus iota? 2 iota, sorry. It is 3 plus 4 iota, right? So is the function continuous? So you can see that the function's value at z equal to 2 iota and the limit value, they are not same, right? So 3 plus 4 iota is not equal to 4 iota and hence the function is not continuous, right? So I hope the concept of continuity is clear to everyone. So let's have an MCQ question. So you have to see that for this function, f of z equal to imaginary part of z upon mod z, z is not equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 when z is equal to 0. So you have to mark the correct option. Limit of the function at z equal to 0 exists. f of z is not equal to 0. f of z is continuous at z equal to 0. And f of z is not continuous at z equal to 0. So how to choose? Let us first of all calculate the limit value. So we choose the path y approaches to 0 followed by x approaches to 0. So imaginary part of z upon mod z will be y upon under root of x squared plus y squared. So when we choose y approaches to 0, the limit value will be 0 upon under root of x squared. So 0 upon anything is equal to 0. And along the second path, what will happen when we choose first x approaches to 0? We will get y upon under root y squared. So that will become plus minus 1. So you can see that the limit is not existing, right? So that means if the limit is not existing, will the function be continuous? Obviously, the function is not going to be continuous, right? So the last option is the correct option. Let's go to the next MCQ question. So for this function, f of z equal to real part of z square upon mod z square, where z is not equal to 0 and it is 0 when z is equal to 0. So we have to again mark the correct options f of z is continuous at z equal to 0, f of z is not equal to 0, limit of the function f of z at z equal to 0 exists and f of z is not continuous at z equal to 0. So again let's check the limit. So 
real part of z square. Now, what is z square? z square is basically x plus iota y whole square. So, that will be x square plus iota square y square plus 2 iota xy. So, that will become x square minus y square plus iota times 2 xy. So, the real part becomes x square minus y square, right? And denominator is mod z square. So, that is x square plus y square. Now, when you choose the path y approaches to 0 first, you will get x square upon x square. That will become 1. And when you choose the other path, y approaches to 0 first and then x approaches to 0, x square will become 0. So, you will get minus y square by y square, which is again minus 1. So, you can see that the limit is only not existing. So, if the limit is not existing, the function is not going to be continued. Right. So, uh, I hope these type of questions are clear to you. And now you can check your progress by calculating the continuity by examining the continuity of this function at z equal to 1 minus iota. And the answer is that the function is continuous. Right. So, thank you so much for listening to me. And those of you who haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Right. Believe in yourself and definitely succeed. Have a nice day.